Welcome back guys, it's Edward here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be bringing you all the side easter eggs I found for Serpent's Call, created by Zendaya. Drill locations. Over by Speed Cola and the Shield Bench, you can activate the drill. Once doing this, a message will pop up saying you're missing five parts. They will now spawn in the map with a small yellow FX on them. I'll show you these locations now. One's by the drill and speed cola just over by these boulders. One's in the temple on the right hand side of the portal. One's just past power and it's just in the garden on the left hand side. One's behind stamina up just to the left. And the last one is to the left hand side of Deadshot just here. Head back to the excavation area and fix the drill. This will get the machine running and every now and then you'll be rewarded with a random gift. Mundy Sword. There's five skulls around the map, two blue and three green. You will need to kill zombies by the green skull and apothecan creatures by the blue skull. The blue skull locations are, one is over by the drill and the shield bench, another is in the spawn area, just by crit revive. And the green skulls can be found, one's just down by the portal, one's in the exterior path on the way to the castle, and the last one's in the tunnel by double tap in the first box location. You're now done and can collect your sword from the temple and start causing hell. But to really cause some carnage, you want to upgrade them. And to do this you must place the sword in the pedestal and then do a quick easter egg to unleash its true power. You can do all four, but you must place the original sword in each holder to start each step. Fire Sword There's three soul boxes around the map and you must kill zombies that are on fire in front of it and collect their souls. To create fire zombies, you must lead them past the fire breathing lions so that they catch a light. You only need six souls on each box to complete this upgrade. One is just in the throne room, another is just next to double tap and the last is at the entrance of the tunnel. Now head back to the castle and collect your new flame sword. Wind sword. Once you place your sword in the pedestal, greeny white orbs will spawn in one at a time around the map. These can spawn in anywhere, so I'll show you my locations now. One is in the undercroft area, one is next to Quick Revive, one is over by the drill, one is by the portal, and one I found in another game also appeared in the throne room. Touching them will slow you down drastically for 15 seconds, so make sure no zombies are near you when doing this. You must pass through the total of four orbs and then you can head back and collect your new wind sword. Lightning Sword. After placing your sword on the pedestal, activate the lightning token found in the generator area, just opposite Jug. This will create a glowing orb that will slowly move towards the castle. You must be pretty close to this, otherwise it will disappear and you need to restart this. Once it reaches the castle, it will automatically enchant your sword. Ghost Sword. After placing the sword, an orb will spawn in between the lion heads at the entrance of the castle. Pick it up and then interact with four green crystals that can be found within rocks that are around the map. One is over in the portal area. One is in the spawn area. Another is over by Deadshot. The last one is in the castle, just in this little room past the sword pedestals. You can now go collect the ghost sword as you now have every wonder sword in the map. Enjoy causing some destruction. Shield locations. The three shield locations don't move which is great news for me. <laughs> the dragon head location is just over in the garden on the rock here. One part is by the tent on the way to the castle. The last part is within the temple just at the back. Head over to the drill and the workbenches to the left hand side just build it here. Corrupted history. You can now only collect one at a time but there are many and I do mean many corrupted history artifacts around the map. That once you've collected one you can place it in a hot tub sort of bath thing and it will cleanse it and leave a message on the wall. You can now collect another one and unlock the full mystery. This has been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. If you found this helpful, then please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time it is. Hope you have a great one and peace out. The fuck was that?